Hello everybody. We're going to take a few minutes here and talk about tools. These are the general electrical tools that you'll use for installing various systems and avionics in your home-built aircraft. This is just a quick look at some real general tools. In the future we'll take a look at uh, real specifics on each of these tools and show you how to use them in uh, other videos in the future. So check back for uh, short videos on how to use each one of these tools. If we look, we've got a general range of tools here. Some of them um, are duplicates. You won't need all of these tools that are here. But we kind of have them divided into groups. So first we have cutting tools. This is a little flesh cutting um, cutter. Um, and uh, you'll notice it's quite small, but it works real well on most small aircraft wire. Most of the wire we use in aircraft is quite small. You notice the edges are flesh. It's for cutting off zip ties and cuts most aircraft wire. This is a variation of the same one. This is a larger cutter used for cutting coax cables and also large cables like battery cables, battery wire. You'll notice that the uh, jaw is much larger. And it's for cutting large wires on the aircraft and coax cables. This small X-Acto knife is something everybody should have for cutting things like a shielded wire or um, various other things in the aircraft. For crimping, we have a variety of tools here. These are ratcheting crimpers that we use to crimp on things like uh, coax cables, terminals, ring terminals. Uh, these are ones we sell that have interchangeable dies. This particular die is used for crimping coax connectors. This particular tool is used for cr crimping on um, ring terminals, fast ons. You'll notice the red, yellow, blue. Red, blue, yellow is for matching the colors of the terminals that you'll be crimping on. These are what we call four-way indent crimpers. They are for crimping on D-sub pins. This is a mil-spec version. This is an import version. Both are equally good for a, a home builder. In the shop where we go through lots of tools, we like to use the mil-spec ones. These are tools for stripping off coax cable, also called toggle strippers. You'll want to get one of those if you're doing lots of coax work. This is an automatic stripper for wire. It's a very good quality one made by Ideal. For the small fine wires that we use in aircraft, ranging from, uh, these are from 26 to 20 or to 16 gauge, and they're automatic. Good tool to have. Don't buy the cheap lookalikes. Make sure you get the good ones, because the cheap ones won't work on aircraft wire. This is a large crimper out here for crimping intermediate sized wires. 6, 8, 10 gauge, things like that. It's also a ratcheting crimper. We have a separate tool for crimping large battery cables called the terminal tool. That's what we'd use on large gauge tools or large gauge terminals. This is for crimping Molex pins or open barreled pins. Also for Narco radio, King radio, things like that. It's a very nice American made tool, very inexpensive, about $30. We also sell it. It'll crimp a variety of sizes. Also one thing you'll want to have that's invaluable for your aircraft is a multimeter. This is a Fluke brand. You don't need to buy an expensive Fluke brand multimeter. But you, can, uh, you should get one for checking voltage, continuity, and things like that. Very simple multimeter is almost a must-have for building your aircraft. Again, that's just a look at uh, general tools you'll use for putting electrical systems in your aircraft. Thanks for watching our videos, and uh, most of these are available for purchase on our website at www.steinair.com. That's S-T-E-I-N-A-I-R.com.